Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here this morning, we're going to be planting our sweet corn. It is March the 2nd, which is one of our above ground days that we can plant. We only have four, uh, five, maybe six days in the March, I'm sitting here trying to remember. The 2nd, the 3rd, the 5th and 6th, and the 29th and the 23rd, uh, 30th are the only days in March that it shows for planting above ground crops and we do try to stay by the almanac as much as possible. We've got our ground prepared. We've uh, come in here, we've broke it all up and I went ahead and cultipacked it. Now that's another video for another time explaining cultipacking and why we do it. But we're going to be using the Hoss tool planter today to try to get this planted. We're going to, hope that you, we're going to show you a little bit about how we're doing it. Okay guys, what we have here is I'm using my new Hoss cedar that I've got in to be planting this sweet corn to kind of see how it works. There is a few things I won't, I won't lie to you. There's a few things that I've learned. I cultipack this field because that's what I'm used to doing with any of the other planters because that way the dirt's not so fluffed up and so hard that when I push the planter through it, it uh, buries the seed too deep. But I've learned with the Hall Cedar here that I probably should not have done that because I'm having a little bit of difficulty um, getting it to actually bury the seeds deep enough because being the ground is a little bit packed, uh, it wants to ride on top of the ground and not cover up some of the seeds. That's, that's my fault. That's nothing to do with the Hall Cedar. And you can see I've got all these rows laid out here. I have them marked on the ends and I kind of follow the the, the tire marks that you see in the garden with the cedar. That way I know when I'm straight and when I'm not straight. And we're probably trying to stay on 24 inch centers here if I remember correctly when I laid this off. I'm uh, trying to make sure that I get a uh, really good job here because one thing we've learned here with this sandy soil, if we leave it fluffed up too much, the sun has a tendency to draw a lot of the moisture out of it. So we cultipack it a lot like we do when we plant our ryegrass or something. And by cultipacking it, what it does is it allows the seed to stay in closer contact with the soil. and It doesn't allow the moisture to escape out of the soil. And we don't have to worry about dirt washing over in on our corn seeds and packing them too deep at this time. Uh, we'll be coming back later with the other tools that goes along with the Hoss Cedar to be able to, um, you know, lift them up and uh, lift the dirt up and kind of plow around the corn a little bit easier there. We're going to show you some pictures. And in this picture here, I'm standing in sweet corn that I've raised here uh, from last year. This corn's about head high. It's just beginning to tossel. It's starting to look really nice. Uh, this is a stoil evergreen corn. It's the same corn I plant every year for sweet corn. But you know, even weird things can happen on your homestead. Here we had a straight line 60 mile an hour wind come through. Uh, it didn't matter what kind of barrier we had up. It blew every bit of the corn down. And you can see how flat it is. But even though it blew it down flat, we used several different strategies that people sent to find out what worked the best. And what worked the best was it um, It stood back up. This is, a, this is it after it's kind of stood back up where we didn't try to stand it up on our own. It looks really good. We're able to go ahead and get some of our harvest off of it. And you can see here in the uh, wagon, we did harvest about half of the crop. Half of it still didn't make because when it blew over, the tossels never did pollinate the corn like it should have. And you can see here some of our corn, it's a white sweet corn. It did pollinate pretty good and we was able to get half the harvest off of it. So you can still do it. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.